So, hey, guys, it's me again. This is uh, No Vlomo number 16? 16? 16. Oh, it's been a while. 16. I've been doing this for... Can you believe I've been doing this for two weeks? That's crazy. Anyway, so today's Friday. And today, um, I went to work and I played some more games with kids. Uh, if you remember from No Vlomo number 2, I think that was also a Friday. I work at a school on Fridays where... Basically, I teach kids from beginners to advanced all through the day, and uh, we play games, and I bring games, and the kids kind of expect games, and you know what? I don't care. Let's play some games. So I played with them Monster Cube, which, if you don't know what that is, I want you to go back to my number 14 video and check that out, and uh, so you can get understand how that plays. And we also played this lovely game, Doggy Go, and which is uh, another hex tile game from the same people who made Monster Cube. And this is basically just a simultaneous uh, 3D-ish building uh, patterns with dogs. You like dogs? I love dogs. Dogs are cool. But basically, you get cards like this, and you just have to make your dogs look like this. So each player has seven dogs, and three of these cards are laid out. Just, and just like Monster Cube, all of you are working at the same time, and whoever gets it first, or one of the patterns first, just says, oh, stop, I got this, and they hit that card, and then everybody checks that the pattern is correct, and if it is, they get that card, the other two cards are discarded, and then three more cards come out. This card is one point. So everybody gets cards like, you know, everybody gets out one of these long dogs. Look at it. Look. Look how cute that is. It has a butt. It has an uh, underside with a butthole. That's kind of cool, right? Anyway, not the butt, hole, but it has a backside. That's a cool part. I'm not sure about the buttholes, however you guys feel about buttholes. Anyway, so we played some of that, and that was actually very, very fun. Even uh, I have one of my students is actually, she's four, and she she loved it. She actually had so much fun. Her brother helped her out a little bit uh, with building the dogs, but she was having fun making it, so that's good. Um, other things that happened today. Oh, um think earlier this year, I backed a Kickstarter from North Star Games, Evolution, and people have been getting that late lately. They've been receiving their packages, and I haven't gotten mine, and I got the confirmation email, but without this, but I didn't get the shipping email saying, you know, we shipped your item, and I was really worried. It's been like almost three weeks since I got the confirmation email, but uh, some people were saying, oh, we just sometimes just get the game without the email, or sometimes we get the email, and then we got the games, so it was kind of confusing. Anyway, when I got home, uh, this was waiting for me. Evolution. I've never, I had never gotten a, a shipping confirmation or anything, but Evolution. And it came with uh, an extra copy of a game because I pledged at that level with an extra copy of Wits and Wagers. I finally got the actual Wits and Wagers. I have the party edition, but that was more. That one is more Wits, less Wagers. This this game. This has the wagers. And what's cool is you can really combine them. So, And I actually like that. The wagers part of this is that mat where you put the answers and the payouts are different. So it's actually quite cool. So, it's in wagers. And uh, I haven't got a chance to play Evolution yet because as I, um, I unpacked all the items, there's quite a lot of in here, actually. So, you know, got the rule book. Uh, my rule book had a little damage in the back, but I put some tape on it, so it's good. It has this lovely watering hole, which is kind of cool. Um, well, kind of cool, but once you put the food tokens on it, the food tokens kind of disappear into the watering hole, so it gets kind of weird. You can flip it over to the other side, and it'll just say evolution. I mean, that's fine, too. Um, D Dominic did say on the BGG forums that they'll reprint the watering hole with maybe a different design or a lighter design, and they'll offer that to the Kickstarter backers for like a lower price, maybe 5 bucks or free. Or something, which is nice. Actually, it's very, very nice of them. Usually, well, when uh, publishers make the the second printing, they're just like, "Oh, you guys have the first printing? Screw, screw you. Buy the game again," and stuff like that. So this this is actually a very nice thing from North Star. And Evolution is a game where you are trying to get new species and evolve new species and trying to protect them from other people's species and getting victory points along the way. The victory points is the food that you feed your species and hopefully that you're people don't die. So it comes with these nice little cardboard things that total your, your species population and your body type and you can have multiples of these 
and you can give them a each species you can give them traits so for example you can give them like a long neck you can give them uh, intelligence and these give them abilities throughout the game but you also have to be careful um, that some animals have a carniv are carnivores most of, most of the animals here are herbivores they're happy to eat plant food but some some species can turn into carnivores and they'll eat other people's species and that gets a little difficult so uh, the Kickstarter edition and some of the retail editions came with these lovely player boards they're they're the same as the ones I just showed you earlier these but yeah nice little design I think it's a little more confusing because you know you can't I mean it's very obvious what they are but still come on now so those are kind of cool uh, I folded the player aids and put them in this nice little baggie this is the coolest start player marker in existence look at that just a wooden dinosaur it came actually with a plastic dinosaur let me see if I can grab that it's actually over here there you go but it's a little unwieldy compared to this one I mean this is cool I mean this was a stretch goal but hey wooden one so now I just have a plastic toy dinosaur that's kind of cool right uh, also it came with some coasters and some bags and all the lovely food tokens there's 180 of them in there it's a lot yeah anyway uh, that's what my Friday would consisted of really just a quick update for today yeah, is, that's all I did I played games all day um, I try to record my gameplays with the kids but there's just so many and sometimes I play games that I don't really care to record like spot it I play spot it forever I'm not recording that I play bingo with the kids I'm not recording any of that so you know it's fun anyway that's it for me now I'm gonna stop talking and I'm going to see if I can finish out my copy of evolution oh that's why I didn't get to play my copy of evolution because um, I got this stack of trade cards and this is not all of it but you can see there's some slight warping not bad right I mean it's not bad I mean, this is just it'll stack and I'll probably sleeve these but the other ones came bent there was like a large gap between there and that one I am flattening inside a between a clamp right now that should st this is gonna stay there for a day and if that doesn't work I'm gonna put it in a Tupperware with a silica pack that should work too anyway I'm gonna if you have any ideas for flattening cards do let me know but that's so far what I've gotten I've talked to um, some folks who play magic and some old friends who played Pokemon and this is what they've told me so anyway I'm gonna go for now uh, there's no blow no, no blow more number 16 for Friday uh, and I'll see you guys later bye